All right, thanks Galen for leading that panel on user experience in .sama based DeFi. Now we turn our attention to Mr. Samuel Sampson. He describes himself as a tech enthusiast. He's here to give us a presentation on decentralized medicine, how we can take a play from, uh, from decentralized finance and bring it into medicine. Take it away, Samuel. All right, thank you very much, Dylan. Hi, everyone, good evening. Um, I'm going to be speaking today on decentralized medicine, taking a playbook actually from decentralized finance. And I'd like to start out by stating the obvious, and that's by stating what decentralized finance is, as well as its advantages. And then simply swapping certain terms with medical terms to drive on my point in the clearest, simplest manner possible. So decentralized finance, oh, it's an emerging financial technology based on secure distributed ledgers, similar to those used by cryptocurrencies. And um, its main advantage is the fact that it removes the system as a whole removes control from banks, institutions, like the controls they have on money from banks, institutions, um, financial products and financial services. So um, as per that same idea, you know, um, applied to medicine now to decentralize it, like I said, decentralized medicine, Medicare could very well be the traditional medical industry, but with removed control of structure operations from medical institutions, medical labs, medical equipments, products and sellers, okay, as well as medical service outlets. Well, um, here are some of the first parts of uh, medicine as an industry that could be decentralized if featured on the blockchain. Um, I'd list them first and then I'd take on them one after the other. Um, first off, we have medical alerts, medical information swap, medical equipment, shopping and shipping, medical proper, uh, properties and facilities, medical links, medical um, community, medical lending, and lastly, medical insurance for this first phase. Um, so I'll take them one after the other. Medical alerts could be set up as um, a decentralized platform that links entire healthcare systems together, working remotely with the sole aim of enhancing medical practice through a transparent, secure, immutable interoperability communication, exchange of information and data between user and healthcare provider, user and user, provider and provider, as well as hospital and hospital. Also, so moving on to medical information swap, the second one on our list, uh, it could be set up as a multi-chain wallet with one identity, managed with one mnemonic, using a single mnemonic of one identity to control user assets and medical data. With high throughput, of course, low latency, powerful query functionality, decentralized control, immutable, um, healthcare record, data storage, and built-in asset support. So moving on to the next one, uh, medical equipment, shopping and shipping, in fact, could be set up as a blockchain-enabled global buying and selling platform for domestic and cross-border medical commerce and end-to-end -end cryptocurrency enabled medical products shopping, powered by the host platform token, of course, basically giving users access to decentralized medical equipment marketplace by just simply being a token holder. And um, the next one would be um, medical properties and facilities. Uh, now this NFT lovers would find exciting. This could be done leveraging on NFT and blockchain to build tokenized virtual hospitals and medical games built on layer two technology, um, powered by the host utility token, of course, just like tokenization of real estate, the host platform will tokenize a physical hospital sell virtually via the project's marketplace to investors, allowing fractional ownership of um, these hospital shares. So um, now we have medical links. Uh, modern, um, modern hospitals would be inadequate without a hospital information management system that incorporates the various departments, medical staff, as well as patients. This would allow also like um, the medical links down as a feature would allow hospital owners administer their hospital records database inventory with ease using medical um, link protocol or electronic healthcare record system. Now this is because information in your hospital, medical facility or clinic needs to be available and accessible digitally at the practitioner's um, fingertips um, onto a medical community or more specifically the technology it is built on. Could be, it could be a decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer consensus network powered by the host utility token, um, transforming how the world interacts and transacts to raise money for an individual or organization by collecting donations through family, 
friends, friends of friends, businesses, and more. Um, uh, before we move on to the next one now, medical community might, um, in this use case, might be a little bit centered on funds raising and money, but it actually transcends that because it, it could um, um, cover um, sharing of sharing an exchange of ideas, experience and skills between um, more experienced medical practitioners and less experienced ones, uh, more skilled medical practitioners and less skilled ones, and it just goes on and on and on. So now moving on to medical lending. Um, the evolution of decentralized finance has created um, a diverse financial ecosystem built directly, directly on the blockchain, uh, which are transparent, verifiable through cryptography and predefined um, coding known as smart contracts, as we all know. Now, these platforms are really redefining the structure of money markets without the need uh, for bloated, costly and superfluous third parties time consuming processes, um, skyrocketing costs and central authority or third party decision makers and basically um, can afford um, users, you know, um, the opportunity to pay for service they cannot currently afford and then allow them to pay for it subsequently in bits and pieces or as a whole, depending on the prior agreement before the lending um, process commence between the lender and the loanee. Now, moving on to medical insurance, um, the platform could be created to provide people outside the banking system with um, medical insurance services um, but, and thus potentially bridge the, bridging the gap between consumers in developing countries and insurance providers. Now, and, um, this insurance network protocol could provide a new level of accessibility and restrictions, um, accessibility and restrictions reduction associated with traditional insurance industry. Um, so basically, this whole concept is purely uh, medicine and the medical industry or as an industry, but then the whole um, difference here is the fact that it is decentralized. Um, here is the importance of um, decentralizing, you know, uh, medicine or medical industry. I'll take the use case like what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, here in Nigeria, um, there were cases where critically ill patients needed to be placed on respiratory devices or um, mechanisms like um, the ventilators. And I, I can remember vividly at the time in Nigeria, we had just three of those, those um, devices scattered um, around the whole country. And um, typically, well, embarrassing as this, might, as this might be, the way things are done way over here, um, people got preferences and access based on um, society status um wealth and influence and all of those now um the whole concept of decentralizing medicine and the industry as a whole would eliminate these patterns these structures because it, it gives equal access and and and, and um service to um every token holder irrespective of your actual status in the society or in what we might choose to call real life at um this point so um Basically, uh, this concept, uh, the concept of decentralization eliminates this censorship and inequality in medicine because it simply allows equal and ease of access to all native utility um, token holders of the said platform, irrespective of their statuses um, in the real world, as said. And then from access to service, exchange of ideas, lending and insurance in medicine, basically just decentralizing a bit to drive equity and balance in service in the industry. And this is a start down the line concept. Other concepts is going to be added to this um, kind of development because uh, the reason why I chose um, to compile my list the way I did was because certain um, fields in medicine have certain legalities surrounding them. So um, being able to infuse them into blockchain would need a little bit of work around these legalities to allow them like um, a typical process would be organ donation organ donation reception and um, the checks and the balances around these processes alone so um, that's why I choose to leave these parts out because later they could be added on but not right now because there's a whole lot of work to do before adding on these ones and, um, if anyone is looking to take on these ideas then I mean what better place to launch them than on poker dots which gives um, parachain developers uh, developers a platform to build a better and more secure um, dApps like um, this one so um thank you so much to the organizers for this opportunity thank you to the partners to this is i'd like to state categorically that this is um, a revolutionary movement and i hope and pray for a sustainability um thank you very much and thank you